What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, let's see how to design a 3D uh, YouTube icon. I got inspired by one of the uh, community post or a free resource that was provided on the uh, community uh, where the author had shown how to design this but uh, there were some uh, tutorial missing in that like how to give the shadow and how to of this uh, uh, shadow and how to get this uh, 3d effect um, let me show you the author who did this so so this is the author big sir icon from community and his name is his name is uh, yo yo ikai so credits shout out to this guy who gave this awesome tutorial he had shown how to place the gradient and how to uh, make an ellipse and do this but uh, there were a few additional uh, details that were missing like how to create a shadow and how to create this using a smooth shadow plugin so in this video i'm gonna explain that so to get started first create a frame uh, let's create for uh, an uh, Instagram post so the Instagram post size would be around 1080 cross 1080 so let's get the frame and copy and move this aside so it doesn't uh, interrupt our work I hope you can see first to get started create a rectangle so let's create a rectangle Let's create a rectangle of 80 height and 800, I mean 800 width and 800 height. And make sure it is in center of the artboard. And then uh, give a border radius of 120 pixel to make it a curve, smooth a curve. So we have achieved the curve and the rectangle. So step number three, choose the color. Here I have. Uh, went to the browser I had uh, searched for YouTube brand colors and I found this FF000 is the YouTube uh, brand red color so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna give a linear gradient on the rectangle which I've created so let's go to fill click on the color icon and let's choose linear gradient on the top let's give the default color of the brand color of YouTube and hit enter and the bottom what we'll do we'll place the same brand color and increase the opacity and let's move to the darker shade so that it gives a little bit of that uh, linear gradient so we achieve that gradient effect what we see in the reference icon there so i think this works good okay. then close the uh, linear gradient uh, color palette so we have achieved the uh, square shape to place the icon uh, to get the icon what i did i use this plugin called iconify which is again available in the community so go to I iconify icon uh, plugin and just type youtube you will get uh, free uh, and varieties of uh, youtube icon which is available there so for now we have 74 icon in search of uh, youtube so when you double click on that uh, just drag in place you will get a copy of the icon so if you see uh, i've got a copy of this here so let's resize it so just to make sure press k and resize so it uh, resizes proportionally or according to the ratio once you get the ratio uh, place that in center of the artboard and uh, let's change the color currently it is black in color so let's move to white so if you see here we have achieved almost like 50 percent of the power which we have to do and let's scale it a little bit down so i think this perfectly suits so what i've done is i've made it as 400 plus 400 when i track the uh, item from the icon finder let's uh, give the shadow effect for the icon next so right click on the item which you want to click uh, give the shadow and again go to plugins and there is a free plugin uh, available on the community again called as root shadow which which is a shadow creator tool and 
basically it has around six parameter like how many layers you want how many layers of shadow and the half of the shadow and the offset of the shadow this is either darkness or it's like the contrast that is known as the offset in here and we have the blur that we can be that can be controlled in terms of layer so if you see if i drag and drop the shadow increases decreases and also we have the blur ratio like how blur you want so now i want a very much blur you can also like use this slider set again so that uh, we just get underneath the icon in the shadow effect uh, if you see here we have achieved the shadow effect what we require and once you are satisfied with the shadow all you have to do is just click on apply shadow and the shadow will be applied the last and final step we have to do is we have to get this uh, the 3d kind of effect we have to apply that shiny glossy effect on the icon uh, to, uh, i feel the corner radius is uh, we have to tweak it a little bit so i'm gonna go ahead and bust this for like 200 so it matches the exact scenario of the reference i think uh, now it matches the scenario uh, where i busted the corner radius to 200 pixels and till here Apart from that, uh, adjusting with the blur uh, for the shadows, it was not given there, but he had insisted to, to use the uh, shadow plugin and it was not given what was the values that has to be given. So it is left up to you to figure out the puzzle and do it. So it is exactly how we do how I just showed you. And then the next puzzle which he had left us to figure is like we have to give the shiny or the glassy effect to get that uh, 3d effect so what he had done is like he had uh, taken a rectangle let's copy or duplicate and what we'll place on top of the icon like a place where you exactly find okay this is the right place to get that glossy effect and make sure you just increase the size accordingly what he had exactly done is he has created a rectangle of a height i have taken the height of like 57.39 pixel and width of uh, 605 to get this effect and what he had done is like he had given layer effect of pass through and he has taken the lighter shadow that is lighter shadow of red that is almost like pinkish white is what he has given to get that effect if you see like here it makes like let me hide and uh, unite for you if you see it, it makes a lot of change there's like a flat icon there's like a 3d icon so that is the effect he had given and again for the left and the right side uh, he had given the same but here uh, the width would be like uh, according to the height of the uh, the icon which you create either it is width or height whatever is for me he chose width here i think it will be vice versa in your uh, in your artboard and just drag and place it in the right place where you feel okay this kind of gonna give me that 3d effect and just duplicate and push one more copy at the uh, right side of your uh, icon okay so if you see we have uh, matched what i'll do is like Exactly, place the shadow like mm. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So from the corner of uh, from the right corner of your icon, uh, move ten notch towards your right, and do the same for your uh, left side as well. corner, I mean, the 
corner of the uh, left side i'm gonna move 10 nuts so that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and select this and move it a little bit down so i give that complete uh, So guys, uh, we have achieved uh, the 3D icon uh, of YouTube. If you want to make it more beautiful, you can make a replica from the top and just place this on the bottom. But since we already have the uh, shadow effect given on the icon, uh, you will feel a little bit of bulge, in a bulge, uh, concave kind of effect. So I would suggest to play around if it matches your uh, perfection you can use or else you can just remove that because without that it makes more uh, sense see that is reduce the opacity to 40 percent more if you see uh, uh, the pass through and the alpha is 40 percent and we have achieved the 3d icon effect so guys, I hope uh, you like this tutorial. I'll uh, leave the source file in the description below. Feel free to download and uh, work on this. If you like this video, like, share, comment and subscribe. Uh, stay tuned for more exciting videos. And please do follow me on my Instagram handle. It will be mentioned in the description. See you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye. Take care. Stay warm. Stay safe. Thank you.